what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you are not already make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter at the hair life and the hair life official oh my god y'all it's been so long since i've said that i've missed y'all so much i'm so excited to finally be uploading a new video so if you guys are already following me on instagram you already know what the deal is with this wig this is my cami unit and these are double process highlights so i'm going to show you guys my process of how i get these so yeah i'm super excited i just showed you guys a couple of different camis different lengths and all that good stuff so we're gonna jump right into it so for highlights i do prefer to do them after i've constructed the wig which you guys know i do on the sewing machine um if you guys need videos on that you can click the eye in the corner so this is my raw indonesian wavy this is the raw indonesian straight and you guys did see me spraying uh, got to be free spray on the lace to protect the knots and when it is time to do like the actual color i will do three layers of got to be spray and then a layer of vaseline to make sure that absolutely no color will get onto the lace so i'm going to just show you guys how i sectioned off the wig before we begin anything else so i just like to completely section off the closure by itself and then we're going to do three sections in the back that very bottom section is going to be like the darker hairs that you see up underneath. And then those two middle sections, that middle section and the top section is where the highlights are going to be focused. Okay, so for this look, I use two different types of bleach. I use Blommy Bleach with Blommy's 40 volume developer. You can get it off Amazon. I will link down below. And I use Wella Color Charm Bleach. And I'm going to be using 20 and 30 volume developer with the Wella. So as you guys can see, I'm going to be mixing 20 volume on one side with Wella and 30 volume on the other side. And I just like to use different brushes so I don't get confused while I'm mixing because these are the same colors. When I do Willa and Blommy, one is blue, one is white, so it's a little bit easier. So this next step that we're going to be doing is basing our wig. So I'm going to just basically bleach the entire wig, but we're doing it in sections with different volumes of developer to give it dimension. So then we can go in after and customize our highlights and lowlights. So again, the bottom section is going to, it's going to be darker. We're going to place a dark uh, permanent hair color on it. But if you place that color on there without lighting it first, it will be a lot darker. So that's why I'm doing that. Because I know somebody's going to ask like, well, it was already dark. What was the point of you bleaching it at all? I'm only bleaching it with 20 to lighten it a little bit. You guys will see it'll be like a, like a brown, like a brownish caramel color. Not that light at all. So I do like to just saturate all of the strands i like to take my brush and just brush it through to make sure every single strand is covered okay so now we're at the part where i'm going to start to use the wella with the 30 volume developer and like i said i'm still just going to saturate everything making sure all the strands have bleach on them and the reason why i like to do 20 at the bottom 30 in the middle then the 40 with the blommy at the top Blommy bleach is a lot stronger it processes a lot quicker it lifts up to nine levels like you guys will see it gets extremely extremely light so if i were to just do the entire base with Blommy, first of all Blommy is expensive and it would be too light anyway i don't need the whole entire wig that light um so yeah that's why i do that Okay, so if y'all look up underneath there, y'all can see how fast the hair is processing up under there. So like I said, when I get to the top, I'm gonna go as fast as I possibly can. Um, you guys can see like I'm barely even using my brush. I'm just kind of slapping it on there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my Blommy bleach. And I'm just showing y'all, this is a brand new container and I just really wish that they would fill it all the way up to the top. That would make your girl really happy because paying, you know, $30 for this and it's half full. Yeah, no, I'm not really feeling that, but it's good. So I keep buying it and their developer is literally like nothing I've ever tried. Y'all can see like it's a lotion consistency. 
it's oil based so it keeps the moisture into your hair and mine exploded as you can see so please be careful when you're doing it i was squeezing my bottle too hard <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna place this all over that last uh, section at the top and all over my closure So as you guys can see, I'm applying this bleach mixture to the closure area. And again, like I said, I'm moving as quickly as I possibly can. I'm going to show you guys how fast everything was processing. And I did wash this out off camera. I like Ion's Color Solutions Shampoo Dove Intense Repair and also Ion's Cool Blondes. So this is what it looks like air dried, you guys. So as you can see, the top is really light. Then we have the bottom that's like this brown caramel looking shade and then the middle part. This is a different base, cami wig, different base. But um, as you guys can see, the top isn't as light. I use Wella for this whole entire base. And that's why I was just showing you guys like it actually does matter. You guys can see this base does not look the same as the one that I just showed you. So just follow the steps that I showed you previously. And this one, I was down bad. I did not have any blimey, so I had to use Wella. And I think I only had 20 and 30 volume developer, so I had to rock with that. So if you guys follow the steps that I showed you, this is what your base will look like and it will make life a lot easier. And you also wanna make sure you do your foils um, ahead of time so you don't have to stop and keep ripping off foils. And I'm just showing you guys how I'm sectioning this piece off. I know it's all dark because I forgot to show this clip after I did the base. So you just want to take a triangle section in the front for your face framing pieces. These pieces are going to be lighter than all the rest of the hair. Um, I just like the way it looks. So that's what we have here. Then I have the closure and the top section parted off into twos. We have a middle section, middle top section, and then our two bottom sections. Okay, so now we can get into the fun part, sis. This is my favorite part. We're going to go in and we're going to custom highlight and low light everything. So go to your Walmart and get your Revlon Color Soap Dye for like $2.80 something cents. So, so yeah, I'm using brown, black, dark brown, and light golden brown. And I like to label my bottles, put, you know, the colors on there so I don't get confused while I'm working. So we're going to go in with our base color, which is going to be the black brown brown black whatever one that is and you're gonna go ahead and get you a rat tail comb and i left this in real time so you guys can actually see how lightly i'm combing through the roots so i just like to use a comb it's the easiest thing to do without getting any lay or getting any dye on your lace um so yeah you guys can probably see what i'm doing better than i can explain it but i'm literally just combing the dye through the roots of the hair and then we're going to bleach this portion i like to do this first before i do anything else because by the time we are done doing everything else those two front pieces will be white okay so just follow these steps and i'm showing you guys and you will be good So for our front pieces, of course, we are going to be using the Blommy Bleach with the 40 volume developer. And I just like to make sure that I blend though that section in between the color and the bleach. Um, yeah, you just want to make sure it's blended because you definitely don't want a line of demarcation. So you just want to make sure these pieces are saturated, put them in foil, and just let that bad boy sit until we are done with the rest. All 
Okay, so after we've done those front pieces, we're gonna move on to the back bottom section. We're gonna work from the bottom to the top now. And I'm gonna be using the brown black color from Revlon Color Silk. Revlon has gotten me through quarantine, you guys. Like, I will not turn my back on it, even though Sally's finally just opened up um, for curbside. But yeah, Revlon Color Silk is the plug. It has gotten me through and it's cheap and it works amazing. So yeah. I'm gonna just make sure everything is saturated and please make sure you have a towel on hand to wipe your hands off in between. You do not want to get the wrong color on the wrong section of hair, so just make sure you have a towel. Okay, so I switched to the other wig. I was just showing you guys like I literally do the same process on each wig for the cami. So with this face being a little bit darker, I'm gonna show you guys at the end, I did end up having to go back in. That's why it really is important to get your base right the first time so you don't have to go in a third time and do anything else. Okay, so after you have completely saturated the bottom section with that base color, I just like to place a piece of foil on it just to keep everything nice and neat. So you're gonna section off your next weft, and that's just how I section them, just weft by weft, it's easier like that. So I'm placing that base color onto the roots of the hair, taking my rat so comb to comb it through so that there's not a line of demarcation. And we are going to begin the highlights. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys the technique. I'm going to be using the weaving technique. There is weaving and slicing. I prefer weaving but you're going to take the end of your rat tail comb and you're going to make small little circles pulling some of the hair to the top of your comb leaving some at the bottom um i prefer the weaving technique over slicing and like i said i'm going to show you guys again in slow motion so you can see so i'm going to show you guys the technique again you're going to take your rat tail comb and you're going to begin to make small circles pulling some hairs to the top of your comb leaving some at the bottom and like i said you can make these pieces as thin or as wide as you like them that's why highlights are like custom to your personal preference so after you have pulled your pieces away from each other you have you now have a top section and a bottom section so our top section we're going to make a highlight the bottom we're going to make a low light so that bottom piece i'm going to apply the dark brown dye all onto it and I'm gonna tease the top of the highlight section just to make sure that there's no harsh line. And I'm gonna place that light golden brown all over. And I would just suggest that you guys fold your foils organized. So do all of your highlights, either vertical or horizontal, and then do your low lights the opposite way of what you did your highlights, just to keep yourself organized so you don't get confused during the process. So like I told you guys, how that piece was just light golden blonde or light golden brown, I'm sorry. The bottom section of this section here is going to be dark brown and the one on top is going to be a bleached highlight. So I just make sure that there is a low light in between the light golden brown and the bleach section. I hope that makes sense, but I'm going to continue that weft by weft all the way up to the top. So again, there is a light golden brown piece under this dark low light that we just created. And then this top piece is going to be a bleached highlight. This is just gonna give you extra dimension. I did forget to uh, tease this section. Um, don't forget to do that, you guys, because it will leave you a line of demarcation and you don't want that. So again, make sure you fold all of your foils, low lights, the same way highlights fold those the same way. So I'm just turning this around and you guys can see how light those front pieces are getting while I'm working on the highlights. So again, I'm just going to continue this process all the way up.
And for the highlights, you guys will see me using the Wella bleach and the Blommy because I was running out of Blommy. But for this portion, I would just use Blommy if I have enough. And why I have you here, sis, if you already have bundles and you just want them made into a wig or if you want to purchase bundles from me and get a wig made or just bundles in general, I have raw Indonesian, straight and wavy, and I also have virgin hair. You guys can look at all of this on my Instagram at the Hair Life Official. You can DM me or email me the Hair Life Official at gmail.com. I will leave it down below. And I got you, sis. I will get you all the way together. So yeah, I'm gonna let y'all watch this and I'll be back when we get to the top. So when we get up to the closure, I like to just root everything first. So I'm gonna take my rat tail comb with the brown black dye, and I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and comb it through the roots lightly. I know it probably looks like I'm being rough, but I promise you I'm not. And I'm gonna just comb through the roots. You can bring this down as far down as you would like. Like I said, this is custom to your preference. So I'm just going to let you guys watch this and then i'm going to do the exact same process of doing the low lights highlights um, with the bleach and everything i'm going to do the same exact process i just like to go through and root everything first just to make sure that i don't get any color on the lace Okay, y'all, so literally every time I get to the, like the closure part to show you guys the full process, my camera has died every single time. But this is another reason why I say it's important to just take your blonde all the way up to the roots because these dark roots were playing tricks on my eyes. So I actually didn't even bring that base color down as far as I needed to, which I'm gonna go back and fix. And then as you guys can see, there's like this orange patch between the blonde and the root color. So I need to go back and fix that. And I'm just assessing the full wig to make sure that everything is looking how it's supposed to. There were some highlight pieces that were a little bit too dark because the base color wasn't light enough. So I did go back in and just bleach those one more time. Um, so yeah, other than that, I'm just showing you guys what the highlights look like. Let me know what you guys think. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, yeah, if you have any other color requests or video requests in general, please let me know. 
I definitely want to do like um, weekly entrepreneur vlogs, just showing you guys basically what I do every week. So if you are interested in that, let me know. Okay, y'all, so I literally have filmed me rinsing out the wigs each time I filmed it and either my camera died or like the footage was off. So I'm gonna insert this small little clip that I do have of me rinsing it out. So what I do, I take all the foils out and y'all will see like there are some foils still left in there because I literally didn't see them at first. So what I do, I take all the foils out, place the wig in the sink and I literally just let the warm water run all over the wig until it runs clear before I start to shampoo or anything like that. So I do use the Ion Color Solutions or the Dove Intense Repair first. I'll do that twice and then after that, I go in with the Ion Cool Blondes Color Solution and I let that actually sit in the hair for about 30 minutes to tone it. I don't use any like, um, like Wella toners for this. I just use the Cool Blondes shampoo. That's how good it is, y'all. I love it. So I let that sit for 30 minutes and this is what it looks like after. So anytime you do a bleaching process like this, you wanna make sure that you deep condition your hair. So what I like to do, I go in with either Tresemme Smooth and Silky or Aussie Moist, y'all know the OGs. And then after that, I will let it sit in silicone mix for anywhere from an hour to overnight. It just depends on what I have time for. Um, and then I let it air dry and style. So yeah, I just want to show you guys what it looks like during the whole washing process because I messed up the footage. So, so yes, if you guys will actually like me to make a separate video on how I rinse it out, because I know a lot of people ask about like the colors bleeding. So if you guys need a visual of what I actually do, just let me know and I would definitely get that out for you as soon as I can. This clip right here, I was showing you guys how to properly place your foils onto your comb. I should have insert this a little bit earlier, but yeah, I'm just showing you guys, you just want to fold it over your rat tail comb and then you want to, you literally place the hair on, slide your comb out and that is it. So here I am just fixing that line of demarcation. Um, yeah, I'm just showing you guys that and yeah, after you wash it out, you want to let it air dry, you can style however you like. And I'm gonna show you guys the finished look. I just combed out these body curls and y'all tell me this is not fire. Like, I love it. This has been literally my number one selling wig during quarantine so yeah if you guys want you a cami you know where to find me and i got you sis you can get this in whatever length you like um so like i said this is with my raw indonesian hair but you can get it in version as well upon your request so yeah we just gonna get into this this good old comb out and i hope you guys enjoyed this video Okay, you guys, so this is it for this video. I really hope that this video was helpful. I know y'all have been waiting on me forever for this video, and I hope I came through for y'all. Um, yeah, this is my exact process, so just follow what I did. If you need help with anything else, y'all know you can always DM me on Instagram. You can get to me on Instagram or the questions down below. I get to you guys as quickly as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, do not forget to share this video. Get in the comments. I wanna know how y'all are doing, how y'all have been holding up during quarantine. Um, yeah, so leave me some comments. Share this video with your friends and your family. Don't be stingy, sis. Share the video. And yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll catch y'all very, very soon in my next video. Bye.